comes out really pretty and this is a great alternative for people who do not like fondant but i wanted to show y'all the melvira method and how smooth if you look at it and shiny it makes your buttercream okay so the cake is already blue right now and i got it all iced i really want to show y'all how i make um i guess a better video on how i get my frosting smoother y'all saw me use this before but this tool is really amazing because it really does smooth out um your buttercream really well let me just move this out the way all right so i got my um like i said cake all frosted and now i'm just going to show you like on the side if you can see it it gets all those little like imperfections out i'm going to stay on one side for a while so you guys can actually see what i'm talking about so when you're using the melvira method and you want to make your buttercream look like fondant you don't want to stay on one spot too long only because the oils from the buttercream will kind of seep out as you roll it. And um, what happens is it'll kind of get wet. So you kind of want to like move around, you know? So there you go, like that. So I'm gonna go all around the cake and uh, you'll kind of see like what I'm talking about. I'll be able to get all these out. But let me show you one spot. And I'm, I did just for a little bit. Okay, and look how smooth that is right there. See how it's smoothed out, so. All right, I want to you to see kind of like the top of it. I'm gonna come up here later in a second to come get it, but you're gonna already kind of see what I'm talking about. You see how smooth it got? Comes out really pretty, and this is a great alternative for people who do not like fondant. Most of the people I make cakes for don't like them. I don't really like fondant. Um, usually kids like fondant on their cake. But uh, I'm gonna roll all this out right here. Roll this one side out for you guys so you can see what I'm talking about. There it is, right there, all right? And so I usually come back a little bit more and try to get this a little bit more seamless right here. The reason why today I'm not worried about it too much is because I'm gonna splatter this all with different colored chocolate. So you guys will kind of see what I'm talking about. You guys can purchase this from Home Depot, Walmart. It's called a high density foam roller. It is my best friend. It works well with a crusting buttercream. All that means is your, buddy, your buttercream dries to the touch. If you ice your cake and you're, you can touch it and it's still wet, that is not a crusting buttercream, okay? So it only works with that. If you put this on a regular buttercream that's not crusted, then uh, it'll just get wet and it won't work, okay? So it has to be a crusting buttercream, okay? All right, everybody, so I'm done, and let me just give you a quick, um, there we go, toa. That's what it looks like right now. So it looks pretty seamless, okay? Like I said, my um, edges at the top aren't perfectly. There's a little bit of bubble. I normally get those out, but um, I'm gonna try to do a little bit more, and then I'm gonna cover it in chocolate. But I wanted to show y'all the Melvira method and how smooth, if you look at it and shiny, it makes your buttercream, it looks like fondant, okay? Real quick, to get kind of like these little bubbles out, I don't know if you can kind of see them from the side, you just kind of roll it in towards the center, like that. And it helps re-flatten those out. 
just because when you're doing the side here like that you have to um it kind of rolls them in so there's an art to this okay it's not it took me a while to learn how to do it but you basically have to uh fix this side like right here you basically have to uh roll out to get it flat you know in and then a little bit of a coming in towards the middle of the cake so it's there's a technique and the more you practice the better you'll get all right there it is all done and now it is time for me to put chocolate on the cake All right, so this is a roller skating cake. So I already got everything completely splattered and I actually splattered the board so it would be, um, it'd be kind of cute. <laughs> but um, my husband helped me with the fondant and I went ahead and did like a little um, happy birthday stamp out. We got the roller skate. Now I'm gonna go ahead and write my niece's name on the side, her age, and then a, a couple of uh, shoelaces and we're all done.